Hi, I'm Joe Connolly here at WCBS as we talk about every day on the radio. Every business is changing and everywhere we look, technology is changing all aspects of our life, including how we consume energy. And just like all other companies, Con Edison is changing as well and giving customers more information and more choices. With me today is Ari Khan, Project Specialist for Electric Vehicles for Con Edison. So Ari, Con Ed is in the electric vehicle growth business now, huh? Yes, electric vehicles are good for the environment, good for the economy, and good for our customers. How many EVs are there in New York now, do you know? So there are about 7,000 in New York City and Westchester today. Uh, we expect that number to grow tremendously over the next several years. Uh, by the middle of next decade, there should be approximately 150,000 electric vehicles on the road, maybe rather. Now. Tell us about this very interesting project you're involved in with school buses, electric vehicle school buses? Yes. Uh, so the electric, we're doing a partnership with the White Plains School District. The electric school buses will transport kids during the school year. And uh, over the summer, they'll be parked in a depot and function as grid batteries, discharging uh, during the hottest summer days to make our grid more reliable. The nice thing about an electric car is there's no engine. It's, um, there's a motor and a battery. And so the battery will charge up overnight, and then during the summer day, they'll discharge into the grid. The summer is when um, people have got their air conditioning running, when um, there's the most electricity demand. So Con Edison, during the summertime, will be using school buses almost as portable power plants? Yes, exactly. And the school bus will be feeding the grid. Yes, exactly. Do the school buses have to drive around to recharge? A hybrid bus would operate that way, but an electric-only an electric school bus gets its power um, by charging from the grid. So what would happen, what will happen is uh, they get plugged in, uh, they charge overnight, the buses charge overnight, and then uh, in, during the school year, they use that energy to uh, pick up kids and drop them off at school. And then during the summer, they will use that energy to discharge back into the grid um, when everybody's got their air conditioning on and are, is using power. So school buses across the whole country could become power plants if what Con Edison is doing works out. So this is absolutely a nation-leading test. Uh, there, are very, there have been very few um, uh, implementations of school bus vehicle to grid, uh, and certainly this is the first one in the region. And we think this will work really well for the New York area. Why does Con Edison want to do this? First, uh, we're always interested in understanding how to make electric vehicles more convenient for our customers. Um, secondly, uh, there are over 7,000 uh, school buses in the, in the New York City area and more in Westchester. And uh, those buses are underutilized during the summer. So uh, there's a real opportunity to, to have them, if this is successful, um, reduce the amount of uh, fossil fuel generation and, uh, and uh, make our grid even more reliable. So, in a way, the students are now going to be able to go to the bus for a lesson. Con Edison does a lot of work with schools um, uh, about uh, energy and the environment, and so in a sense, this this is a traveling uh, traveling classroom. My son, who's uh, three, is very very excited to test drive test ride the electric school bus. And there's a real environmental lesson to be had. Uh, electric cars are, on average, 75% cleaner than a regular car, in, in you know, on Con Edison's grid. So. Uh, if uh, New York was able to electrify its school buses, you'd eliminate uh, almost uh, 185,000 tons of CO2 a year. So that's a lot of environmental benefit. What, what do you hear from people who have switched to EVs? Customer satisfaction um, for electric car owners is very high. And some of the things that people are very uh, concerned about when they initially get an electric car turn out not to be issues. And the side benefits, um, like being not having to go to gas stations um, and having a very quiet ride with very quick pickup, um, for the first, which is nice in a city like New York with stop and go traffic, um, become very satisfying.